There are a handful of temperatures that are important in the firing process. Hi, I'm Sharon from Amico Brent, and in this video we will discuss the critical temperatures that occur during a firing. The first being the boiling point of water at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The water molecules expand as they change from liquid to gas, which can be quite explosive if the state change occurs inside your clay body. Exceeding this temperature while moisture is still present in the clay is the number one cause of blowouts in the kiln. Luckily, this is something that can be easily avoided. Wait to bisque fire pieces until they are entirely bone dry. Perform a hold just below 212 degrees Fahrenheit for at least a few hours. You can check for moisture by cracking the lid during your hold and putting a mirror in the hot air escaping. If the mirror fogs up, moisture is still present and a longer hold is required. Whether climbing in temperature or cooling down, you should always go slowly through 450 degrees Fahrenheit and 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. Clay goes through molecular changes at these temperatures which cause a slight expansion of the clay body. If you speed through these two temperatures, you risk forming cracks in your pieces, especially where thick and thin areas join together. The last temperature of note is your final cone temperature. Be mindful of cones that start with a zero and those that don't. Always follow your manufacturer's instructions for firing speed and recommended cone temperature. If you have any questions or concerns about important temperatures in firing a kiln, contact our technical support team using the information listed below. Be sure to watch our next video that demonstrates loading your kiln. Thanks for watching.